nation. These documents also include... It's the long-standing and consistent position uh, of the United Nations that, consistent with its charter, the decisions of its competent intergovernmental bodies, the organization can engage in activities within the territory of a member state only with the consent of that government of that state. The only exception is where the Security Council has adopted a binding resolution under Chapter 7 of the Charter, authorizing the organization to act without uh, the government's consent. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think for, for OCHA, for all our humanitarian partners, it's not about the legality of the issues, it's really about uh, the people and trying to deliver aid in some of the most difficult uh, circumstances. It's a conflict area, there's a safety issue all the time. And in any conflict, not just in Syria, where you're dealing with, on one hand, government forces, and on, on the other hand, uh, armed groups that may or may not coordinate with each other, uh, it's even more challenging in the opposition-held areas because it's not always clear who's, who's in control and who do you need to negotiate with uh, in terms of, of, of access. The brunt of caring for those refugees is, uh, is on the shoulders of the governments of Turkey, the governments of Lebanon, uh, especially given the situation in Lebanon where most of the refugees are in urban areas or not in camps, in Jordan. Um, UNHCR, its partners, is doing everything it can to create uh, an environment where people can, can live in, uh, in dignity. What's missing is funding. The humanitarian appeal for Syria, as uh, we heard a few weeks, a few days ago, is not fully uh, funded.